Harichand Mathur, the writer of our film. A writer? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. This is Lou Shalane, the famous international novelist. Ah, Enchanting Adams. You read it? Of course. Who hasn't? Everyone is talking about it. On the great. How do you do? लड़की सामने है कैमरा की जून डांस करते हैं कैमरा पीछे जाते हैं तो और पीछे तो पीछे कट आप तो बहुत आते हो नहीं नहीं पहले जो आपने मुझे स्क्रिप्ट सुनाई थी उसके अंदर ये गाना था ठीक है लेकिन ये गाना जाने रिकॉर्ड किया है टिप 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 टाइप राइट करके देखिए डिस्ट्र अपने लिए बना रहे हैं किसके लिए बना रहे हैं देखिए ना डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर के लिए ना आपके लिए ना आपके लिए पिक्चर पब्लिक के लिए और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर पब्लिक की पल्स नहीं मुझे समझ नहीं आता आप लोग चेंजेस क्यों करते हैं जो ट्रू जो आपकी कंसेप्शन है जो आप कैसा की है वो बनाएंगे मैं सेंट <laughs> you must excuse him, he can't read. 
Have you ever heard of Consenting Adults? I saw it. Well, it was a book before it was a film. There are books as well as films. People write them, you know? Right? You have a fantastic set. We call it the Fate Machine. What? Uh, you see, typewriter keys represent the keys of life. And we human beings dance on them. And then when we dance, as we press down the keys of the machine, the story that's written is the story of our fate. It's very symbolic. Thank you. May, may we have a photograph over there? Right. Please come. Zarud. Tiger. Sudarshan. Please ask the girls to move. Girl. Come on. Yes, there you are. Hariji, please come. Thank you. Can we go in there? Thank you. Yes, yes. May, may I help you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Helen ji. Hi ji. Please come. This is Miss Helen, our leading lady. This is Lucia Lane. How do you do, Lou? Right here? First visit to India? Mm. Yes. Your book was about Hollywood, wasn't it? Yes. And now have you come here to write about our Bombay film world? Perhaps. If I find it interesting enough. Hmm. Vikram sahab, aayi hai ki rehearsal karein. Haa, kari kari. Master ji, shuru karwa hai. Excuse me. अरे वेडिंग वेडिंग क्या है हम भी अपने हम भी अपने बातें की बातें करते हैं करते हैं रोज टाइप करते हैं जिंदगी की हर कहानी लिखता है What sort of an actor is he? Like all our Bombay actors, all they want is to be popular at the box office. Everything for the box office. There's no pleasure in writing for people like that. Well, I do it for a living, but my real life is writing poetry. I write poetic dramas. Mm. I'd like to show you my work one of these days. If you'd let me read it to you. Mm. That'd be nice. Of course, I write in Hindi, but I could always translate it to, uh, as we go along and explain what has to be explained. I'd like that. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Well, he is anxious for his country, the welfare of his country, like he would be for a beloved or a mistress. पाँव में कांटे रहें और कमल जल जाएं। It means lest your feet should tread on thorns. Her what? It means no, lest your lotus feet should tread on thorns. See, my play is actually symbolic of present-day India. I've used the court and the emperors to be symbols of contemporary India. In Can you help me?
Come on. Thank you. My main theme is that unless there is unity and integration, well, we're going to suffer the same fate and subject ourselves to the same humiliation as under foreign conquest. You're getting tired. No, not at all. It's fascinating. Let's have another drink. There are many contemporary references, and even some caricatures of well-known figures of India today. I don't spare the film world either. You know, there are times when I feel that this world is a, is a microcosm of the outer world, with all its intrigues and corruption and overblown personalities. What's he like? Who? That actor. What's his name? Vikram. What's he like as a person? He's very handsome. That he is. Come here. Come and sit down. This is nice. You must get one of these. It's from Lucknow. I'll get one for you. Show me. It's beautiful work. One day I expect I'll have to sell it. Are you poor? I know what that means. My first husband left me stranded in New York without a cent. All alone? Except I was pregnant. Family in England wouldn't help either, because I'd eloped with him. I was only 17, I didn't know a thing. That's when I learned. I learned to be tough. You are not like that. <laughs> oh, no? No. You're so tender. Like a flower. Like a flower? Like jasmine. He even sang in a cabaret once. Couldn't sing and I had bad legs. No, you haven't. I have. I have knobbly knees. Your knees are lovely. to see you all here tonight. I'll tell you of a vision. I get so upset when all these people mess about with my lines. But we needed some pep in it. Pep? Oh anyway, who are you to say what is needed? <laughs> Why is he always so angry? Nay, nee, nay. Nee. It's a misunderstanding. You know, he's like that. What is it called with that with those peckles? Porcupine. Yes, if you if you touch him. <laughs> You see, you get hurt. I'm not one of your chumchas. Oh, come on. Here, have a cigar. No, thank you. See how nicely he's asking you. Take it. Now I want all of you to join me and say, Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hariyom Tat Sat, come on! Hariyom Tat Sat, Hariyom Tat Sat. Something happens to me when I see him. It's his fault. If this is your idea of what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. It's just him. 
Look at him. Look at him. I suppose I'm mad. <laughs> this is a good cigar. Makes me want to recite poetry. My poetry. Oh, please. The atmosphere is not congenial. And now it's even less congenial. In fact, positively putrid. Mr. Bavinbos. Ah, Mr. Bavinbos. What an artist. Thank you. He makes you laugh and cry. Wonderful. What dirty pictures are you making now? Always joking. Now you are a first-rate comic, Harisal. I take this chair. I have only one ambition. That one day we shall work together. The day you sign up with him, you will be finished as a star. Great artists must always explore new horizons. The spirit must soar like an eagle. Like an eagle? I don't make your kind of movies. What are the new frontiers in the cinema today? Sex is not bad, not crude. Excuse me, please. What's wrong with the opinion of ignorant people? Look at these foreign films and magazines. What do they show? The human body in all its most beautiful forms and aspects. It's new religion. They call it new. But of course, in India, we've had it for thousands of years. What are our temple sculptures but a hymn to sex? In the past, we were in the forefront. Come on! I'm a very selfish person. I've taken too much of your precious time. We'll meet again. I don't think so. You'll change your mind. But I'm sure we can feel so slimy. You know what Hariyom that means, and we've got to give it all our heart and soul. Ah! I saw your lovely film. Thank you. My wife, Marla. Lovely to meet you. Yes, of course, it is a popular film, but it has such vigor, such... May I come and sit there? Mm. Consenting adults look here, no? Excuse me. You mean you really liked it? Yes. It was so heroic, if you know what I mean. It's given me such ideas. We must talk. You don't mind, do you? I have an idea for a story. This is nice. I like that. Did you get it here? Well, it's not easy to put into words just now. It's not so much a story. It's a feeling struggling for expression. Something very, very personal. But this is boring for you. It smells like a good cigar. Would you like one? Yes, please. Mm. Here you are. What about your story? Darling, I think we must go now. Is it, is it uh, set in India? Don't forget you have early shooting tomorrow, V. Yes, it is. It's about a very famous Hollywood actress who has everything except happiness. She's been married four times and it never worked out. Now she's alone, lonely, empty. She's a spiritually bankrupt person. It's not only her, it's the whole world she lives in. The decadent West. It's a sick world, Vikram. So, she runs away. Just gives everything up and runs. Hello, G. To India? Mm. I'd like to show Indian village life. Perhaps, perhaps a wedding or some festival. You must have lots of colorful festivals. They have in Mexico. Anyway, she meets someone, a man. And for her, he is India. This is where I'm stuck. I, I thought at first he's a simple peasant, a fisherman or something. But you know, I think I'm beginning to change my mind. I think I'd like him to be someone rather grand. Hello, Vikram. A minister? More like a prince, really. A Maharaja. Perhaps. Anyway, the point is he has to be tremendously 
fight. And hence, such a headache. It's all this bloody hair. Is it really bad? Mm -hmm. Let me press it for you. No, I'll just take a pill and go to bed. I'll be all right in the morning. I'll come up to your room and give no. you a lovely massage. I'm really very good at it. You'll see, you'll get better in no time. Hmm, that's nice. Come on, let's go. No, no, I'll be all right after a good night's sleep. You take the car and ask the driver to drop you home. Are you sure? Mm. I can't bear to see you suffer. You're very sweet. Lucia, wait. Do you like me? Of course I do. Only like? Oh, Harry, will you please go? There's so much. I want to tell you a lot. So much. Now, may I go up? Go to sleep? Please? Yes, of course. I'm so selfish. Good night. Night. चलिए हमारे घर Hello. I heard it was this festival. This is the day when we tie these rock keys. You see? On our brother. Surely you're not all his sisters. And spirit. When one of these ladies ties this bracelet on my arm, then I become a brother. Yes. He guides and protects her. If I give you one, will you guide and protect me? Are you? Just a moment. You need a rakhi. Won't this do? I'm afraid it's the brother who gives the present, not the sister. Oh, but this isn't a present, it's a... What do you call it? One of those things. Please take it back. Leave it. No, V. Take it back, please. I've made him my brother with it. Not with that. V, give it back. I can't take it back. I'm sorry, but this is just not done. All right, give me the black Is this the way to treat a guest? She spoiled our ceremony. V? Where are you going, V? Why did you do that? It was a misunderstanding. Oh, I do understand. Please let me pass. Mala didn't mean to offend you. Oh, no? She was only, only trying to explain. You're getting angry for nothing. All right for nothing. Can I get in my car, please, now? Please don't go. 
Where are you going? Back to the hotel. Is it the Taj Mahal? Chalo, drive Taj Mahal hotel lena. Who's this? My daughter. Really? How old is she? She'll be 15 in August. She looks like you. No, she doesn't. She's not a bit like me either. She wants to be a doctor. A serious girl? I told you she wasn't like me. Aren't you serious? Not at her age, I wasn't. And now? Are you serious now? I think you'd better go. But you want to talk to me. About the film, don't you? Aren't we going to work together? I've changed my mind. Why? Because of today? It was so humiliating. She didn't mean it. None of them did. It's not my fault if I don't know about your bloody customs. I was only trying to be friendly. What's wrong with that? People can't live without friends. It's not nice to be lonely. You're not lonely. Why? You're successful. Everyone admires you. What good's that? Don't you like to be admired? You ought to be very happy. Why? You're famous, rich, and nice looking. I'm happy. Well, naturally. I mean, your wife's in love with you. And you with her. We don't have any children. They'll come. They will. Mala's been to all the doctors. And now she goes from one holy man to the other. I don't mind so much except that we have to have a son. You know, we Hindus have to have a son to light the funeral pyre. Have you ever been to a Hindu funeral? The body lies on a plank. And then is placed on the pyre. The wood's been piled high up, and the priest chants the mantras. Om Bhur Bhavasva Tatsavitorvareniyam Parko Devasya Deemahi Deyo Yona Prachodaya and the eldest son, Porsky, and the first flame is lit. It, it takes a long time. And just before, just as it's on the point of bursting, the eldest son takes a stick and gently touches and makes it burst. Why are you telling me all this? I thought you'd be interested. Let's talk about your daughter. What's her name? Terry. She's at school in Switzerland. She used to be with me, but I don't really have a home anymore. And no husband? <laughs> Not at the moment. Have you had many? Four. <laughs> Sounds like a lot, I know, but somehow it doesn't seem so many. Two of them were only for a few months. I fall in love very quickly. Each time I think, this is it. Then I get married. <laughs> I think you're a very romantic type of person. I think so, too. Unfortunately. Now, me. I'm a realist. A realist and a romantic. 
make a very good combination. You see? You'd better go. Hmm? No, really. Why? Please. Don't you... Don't you like me? No, I don't want to. I want to. the studio call. What time am I shooting in the morning? At eight. Oh. I went to see the Swamiji yesterday. There was a woman there. She'd been married for ten years and she'd never had any children. She went everywhere, did everything, just like I did. Then last year, Swamiji sent her on a pilgrimage to Badrinath. Now she has a boy. Swamiji wants me to go to Badrinath. Go. He says both of us must go. Mm, yes, I have lots of time. Only 17 films, two shifts a day. You can make time. You could easily cancel a few dates. <laughs> you tell that to my producers. Isn't this more important? Mm. I know why you don't want to go. Because of her. Who? Who? What are you talking about? Don't talk like that. Then what should I do? Sit here quiet with my hands folded waiting for you while you run with her all over town? Who says so? Everyone says so. Everywhere. They're... They're all talking about it. Laughing. We're working on... 
we are working on a film together. It's, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be an important international project. It's an intellectual relationship. Oh, how to explain when you're too stupid to understand? Leave me and let me sleep. V? Oui? No, 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 we'll try the Indian way. Yeah. Hold it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, now you try. No, I can't. Uh, <laughs> you're spilling. <laughs> oh, your makeup is coming all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hiro. What is it? They're calling you. Come on, come on, we're having a picnic. <laughs> we are playing consenting adults. <laughs> come on, Harry, sit over here. Have a drink. Everyone is waiting for the shot. Are they ready? They've been ready for an hour. Oh, what a bore you are, Harry. Come and have a drink. Champagne. Let me go. No. I have to go. Why? I'm working. Oh, you're not. You're playing consenting adults with me. Anyway, you're the star, aren't you? You're not some extra. I told you, I have to go. That hurt. Lucia, don't. Let me go. Well, you can piss off. You can go and shoot some more of your sing-song movie. Sick it is. You talk about sick? With your dirty sex books? You don't know a thing about it. Can't even read, can he? Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you, you ill-mannered bastard. Yes, that's the sort of language you people are used to. Don't argue. Just say, Lucia's calling. You're a fool. Stupid. I know I'm stupid. But go. Yeah, but why drag me into it? Lucia, let's go. I can't. Go on. Harry? Nothing. Do as I say. She's calling you.
बड़ी मुश्किल से बड़ी मुश्किल से दिल की बेकरारी को कराराया बड़ी मुश्किल से के जिस जालिम ने तड़पाया उसी पर मुझको प्याराया बड़ी मुश्किल It's just an old song and it's an old voice now. I got my first roles through Anjana Devi ji. In those days I could still help my boys. She was our biggest star. You saw her picture everywhere. Everyone sang her songs. Yes. One day you're a big big star. Suddenly you find And what are all these stories I'm hearing about you? What stories? Fights. You haven't been keeping your shooting dates. Why do you listen to all that gossip? Three of your films had to be cancelled. I'm telling you, be careful. Show me your hand. Do you know about hands? She knows everything. She's wonderful. Will you do mine? Yes. Go on. No, please. Yes. Read, read Lucia's hand. All right. Let me see the left one, please. How many bestsellers? How many more husbands? Shh. One child. This line is very strong. You want too much always. But you must have had a lot of difficulties. I think your parents' marriage wasn't too good. No. And you left home very early. This is long ago. She wants to know the future. I know about the past. <laughs> I I can't read any more. I'm sorry. But you haven't told me anything. But so sometimes it's difficult to see. If there's anything there, please tell me. You see what is written over here nobody can wipe out But If you can see something I'd like to know I can't see anything Let's go Chalo When are you going to call me back? To feed me up? Chale. Suno. Kuch log khud to bure nahi hote hain. Lekin dusron ke liye badkismat sabit hote hain. Baba and thank you. What did she say? Why can't you tell me what she said? Nothing. Well, she did say something. Mm. Let's not wait for the lift. Come on. Vicky, I'm not going to move one step until you tell me what she said. She said that uh, uh, there are people, even though they're not bad people, yet they harm others. It doesn't mean anything. What you say? It doesn't mean anything. Come on. She's right. I do harm people. Something always happens. What nonsense! She's right. 
I think she's only jealous of you. She's always jealous of my girlfriends. Cuckoo. Sir, I'm very sad, Anna. This is me. Mother. Yes, darling. Are you back? No, no, I'm still in India. Can you hear me? Mother. Listen. Shall I get a plane and come tomorrow? Tonight? What? I can't hear. Operator. Operator. I'm trying, madam. Just hold on. disappoint your friends. What? I said, I'll be seeing you for Christmas. Oh, yeah, okay. How are you, darling? I'm fine. Terry, I do miss you. I can't hear anything. What? I can't hear. Operator. Yes, madam. I was talking to my daughter in Switzerland. I know, Please, madam. Please, will you try? I'll ring you back, madam. Thank you. Madam Lucia Lane, yes. it is a great pleasure to meet you, madam. I have learned so much from your valuable books. What's the matter? Have you gone mad? For once I'm sane. Driver, please go on. Come on, come on. What have I done? It's not you, it's me. Well, don't on. ask questions, just go. 
For God's sake, can't you leave me alone? Why? Please, don't you understand? Understand what? Didn't you hear her? Oh, she's mad and you're mad. Oh, go home, Vicky. Go home to Marla. Who are you to tell me who to go to? Let go. Stop it. Let go. Can I? Go on. Drive on, please, Vicky. Go on. Does Mr. Harry Martyr live here? Mr. Martyr? Upstairs? Yes. Can I come in? Of course. Let's go, let's go. What's going on? Come in. Would, would you like to come and sit outside? Sit down. What is it? I've got to get away from him. I'll never see him again. I really want never to see him again. That's what you said before. Do you believe in stars and fate? I know things happen that we don't understand. We ourselves do things that we don't understand. Things we don't even want to do. Yes, I know that. Every time you call me, I come running. Most your job, haven't you? What job? Wherever I go, it's the same. She's right. Who? Film star. What's her name? Angina or something. Oh, Harry. I wish I could get away. I'd like to go to some very calm and spiritual place. Guru or something. Isn't that what India's for? To make people feel peaceful? Please help me. I don't know any guru. Actually, basically, I have a religious temperament. There was a time when I wanted to be a nun. What's funny? No, nothing. It's true. I need someone to guide me, some holy and wonderful person. I don't go for that sort of thing. But there is someone who would know. Who? Mala. Ask her. That's all right. Rather fitting, really. I look into my heart. And it all flows with love. And this love is God. For God is love. The whole world is drowning in the ocean of love. A drowning man struggles. But we do not struggle. We drown and sink willingly. Because we know it is the love we drown in. The beloved does not struggle against the lover. She opens to him as a flower opens to the bee, knowing that he has come to suck honey from her heart. So God, who is love, sucks our honey, yet he himself is the very ocean of honey, of love, in which we drown. And in drowning, we become most alive. We swim in that ocean, and we are happy, like little children. And we are lifted by the waves, and laugh and play merry pranks. We call it Lisa, God's play. What a beautiful idea, huh? And talking of love, we talk of earthly love, worldly love. Yes, 
the embraces of a newly wedded husband for his beloved wife. They too are a shadow of the divine, all-embracing love. For all of us are his beloved bride and God forever, the newly wedded husband. This is a very happy day in my life. But I knew it would come. It was destiny. Just, just here. You know my prize. Money is so tight nowadays. Everybody's complaining. It's terrible. V, it's ready. Please excuse me. It's your meal time. It's very bad on my part. You know what I got on Pyar Kinir? Two years ago. On Mohabbat Ke Aansu? Last year. Times have changed. My price hasn't changed. Vizar gives me 20. I hear you signed up. What's his name? The new young man. There are so many new men coming up. It's difficult to remember their names. I do business like a gentleman. Shooting starts on the 30th. Another 20% on the day of the Mahurit. On the first day of the shooting, we have a very pretty ceremony. I hope you'll find it convenient to attend. Tika. A very happy day for me. Here, please. And here. Happy day. And here, please. Come nearer. Let's be cozy. Today, I want you to give it to me. No, for him. I'm thirsty. I'm waiting. Soon I shall start crying. Feed him. You have given my milk to me. Now I shall call you Ma.
Why are you up? Nothing. Go to sleep. What are you doing? Why are you wearing your clothes? I have to go out. It's some important work. I had a phone call. I'll be back soon. I'll come in quietly so you won't be disturbed. Lie down. Be a good girl. Go to sleep. Don't go. I told you I have to go. Please. I no, told you. Why? I have to go. बीवी गौरी उसका भी बड़ा नाम है अरे कमरे में बिठा लो बिजली का क्या काम है कमरे में बिठा लो बिजली का क्या काम है मेरे अंगने में तुम्हारा क्या काम है कम इन कम इन सिट डाउन हैव यू मेड दिस बॉयज दिस इज जलाल दिस इज अनवर दिस आई मस्ट आई आई मस्ट टॉक टू यू आई हैव सीन दिस वन आई वांट टू हरी अप हम्म इट्स लाइक द शट योर बटन्स If I lose my mind, you know she's gone. She's disappeared. Who's disappeared? Lucia. Who? You know, I brought her here. That one. Are you Adjalal? Send Baba Black Sheep to him. You will die. I have to find her. Can't you? Can't you do something? Do you know Mohan does a wonderful imitation of you? Mohan, get up and show him. Okay. so many films you must give all of us a chance he's just like you were at that age just the same look for heaven's sake isn't there anybody over here who can make this man laugh sing mm -hmm. if you decide to get married or have an affair what do i do I, i don't sit here and cry all my life and spoil my face i say good luck i switch on to the next one come on have a drink it's not the end of the world you know yeah That's better. Like a dim dum. Yeah. 
Oh, Harry, where have you brought me? This place is positively gruesome. All these unsexed people. I know if I stay here another day, I shall do something desperate. Now. Mm. Writing a letter? Who are you writing to? A friend. A boyfriend? I always liked having a good time. I've been to Paris and London and all those places. But we have a good time here, too. They call him the person no bigger than the thumb. And he lives right here in the human heart. जब गुजरता है मेरे जिस्म को बादल छू कर फिर कोई रेशमी आचल मुझे याद आता है मैं तो हर चीज में पाता हूँ तुम्हारा चेहरा इश्क क्या क्या मुझे परछाइया दिखलाता है तुम मेरे Don't pretend. She's written to you, hasn't she? That letter's from Lucia. Where is she? Mustn't pry into other people's correspondence. अरे यार कमाल के बोल लिखलाते हैं अब देखिए ना इतने म्यूजिकल बोल होने चाहिए ऐसे मुश्किल बोल हैं गाने वाले को तकलीफ हो रही है और वो म्यूजिक पीस इतना छोटा है यार बड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा कमाना आ रहा हूँ आ रहा हूँ आ रहा हूँ I don't know why you quarrel with me, don't you? What she do you anyway? I suppose you think you're the only man anyone would ever want to look at. No. 
When I'm finished with her, you can have her. You've got it quite the wrong way around. I really don't want to quarrel with you. I feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for me? Why are you so upset about it? There are thousands of women waiting for you. What do you want with me? What's so special about you? Tell me. God knows. The ceremony took place at the house of Mrs. Gay Fisher in Los Angeles. It is her own private residence. But she put it entirely at my disposal. What a beautiful car. This was bought by the late Mr. Fisher from Hong Kong. A very old piece. Now we shall see all our friends. Ah, Catherine. I've often spoken to you about her. She had great possibilities. What a sad case. Ah, Sister Mayavitha. A deep spiritual nature. And Sister Napama, also a very sincere person. There you are with your beard, Guruji. Is that you, Guruji? You look so different. I like him much better without. It's very impressive. It hides too much of his dear face. I think he's wonderful both ways. What made you shave it off, Guruji? It's too hot in India. Sister Mayavita always had a good influence on Catherine. Oh, dear. It's gone in her eye. That's the last picture ever taken of poor Catherine. God's will. So much for the spiritual life. Now I suppose you've tried everything. Let's both go away. Where? Anywhere out of India. Let's slow down, will you? What's happening? It's a funeral. Don't think about oh, it. No, it's bad luck. Ask him to turn round. Please funeral. turn round. Stop the car. You don't have to look. I Please tell ask you about him to turn round the car. Oh, my God! What is he doing? What is he doing? What the hell? Why don't you tell me? You can talk to me quite freely. I'm your friend. Will you please go? You know what's costing me? How much I'm losing every day? Why don't you trust me? I'll bring back to you. My word is gentleman. Please leave me alone. No, you must trust me. It is very painful for me to see you in this pitiable condition. Now, at this moment, while we're talking here, he's with that woman doing dirty things. Please go away. Everybody pities you.
you know how much advance he's taken from me? All right. We'll forget the 30,000 I'm losing every day. We say nothing about it. Hovind Bush does business like a gentleman. But you know what he's taken from me? Stolen from me? Stolen from my pocket! Louis! What's the use of calling you a servant? He can't stop me from taking what's mine. Every man has a right to his own property. So please, don't upset yourself. Strictly a business transaction. Very comfortable he's made himself here. Please understand, I'm here on business. I only want my investment bag, that's all. I'm not charging you any interest. It's a mutual transaction. He takes what's mine. And I take what's his. Louise! Ma'am, sub kind. Oh, it's night. What time do you think it is? Who cares? Is it today or tomorrow? <laughs> Who cares? Mm. You can't always stay in the dark. I want to, from now on. Always? I don't want anyone to see me anymore, ever again. Me neither? No, don't. Why not? Mm. What's the matter? You're not to look at me. Why not? No. All right. Tomorrow. It's my birthday. We'll celebrate. We must. Celebrate what? Getting old and ugly. <laughs> Not you. You're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I'm taking you out. Mm, I don't want to go. <laughs> Never mind what you want. I want. <clears throat> Where this? I haven't seen you in this one before. We had some good times, didn't we? Mm. What is it? I always get like this on my birthday. When I was younger, it didn't seem to matter so much. I'd say things have been bad. Next year, it'll be better. Everything's going to be fine. 
Now I think everything will get worse. Much worse. Yeah. Come on, put it on. How can I put it on like this? Come on, put it on. <laughs> Get it. What are you right. doing? It's my birthday. Look, he's not even saying happy birthday. Harry, say happy birthday. Come on. Oh, you look funny. What's the matter? Why don't you leave me alone? Oh, don't be such a bloody boy. We need you. Hmm. Don't be so silly. Nice and cool out here. You should sleep out here. Harry, we've got to celebrate. It's my birthday. I'm 125 years old today. Ah. Come on, get up. Who knows where we'll be this time next year? We might all be dead. Mm, then buried. No, burnt. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Harry, get up. Oh, come on, Harry. Come on, be a sport. Hey! A birthday verse for Lucia. Bante heju in paro me gire. Homobara kune yisal. I like that. Thank you. Don't you want to know what it means? Mm. Of course she doesn't. These things never mean anything. Uh, just the sort of remark one would expect from you. Hey! Now, now, now. No fighting. <laughs> Talking about presents, what are you giving me? You want to know? Mm. <laughs> Dirty bugger. <laughs> no, seriously. What's a birthday without presents? I'm surprised at you. What do you want? What do I want? What does anyone want? Money? Love? Youth? Beauty? It's broken. <laughs> That's what you want. That's what I want. Well, at this time of the night. Why not? Throw it away. <laughs> Throw it away. Come on, Harry. Oh, the balloons, the balloons. <laughs> I 
don't believe that stuff. You'd be surprised. <laughs> and you can't deny that stones have an influence. You're worse than my grandmother. Well, they do. I would never, never wear an amethyst, not if you paid me. Oh, fabulous. Gorgeous. One like this one. Who gave it to you? Oh, someone. A husband. Which one? Don't remember. How do I look? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it's all rusty. No, it's dried blood. Whose? A poet's. Which poet? A great, great poet. Someone who killed himself for love? Yes, he killed a Maharaja over a beautiful dancing girl. <laughs> no, I don't want pearls. Mm, just show me this gold. Yes, please. You like it? Mm. A present it like this, from King Vikram. It will be attractive. Isn't it good to us? Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> mm? You like that? All right, you can have it. Get the guy.
It's her birthday. Vicky, hmm? can you do this? Vicky, what's the matter? You still fiddling around with that thing? Come and dance. Come on! I'm gonna wait till the midnight call. But when my love comes a stumbling down. I'm gonna wait until the midnight call. Come and dance, Vicky. Come on. We're supposed to be celebrating my birthday. Oh, leave me alone. It's my party. The party's over. No, it's not. I'm the one who says when it's over. Harry, get him another drink. What's the matter? Hmm? Here. Take it. No. Take it. He's got no stamina. Lucia. To lovely Lucia Lane.
now and see. <laughs> Get out of my room. Oh, go back to her. You've been thinking of her all evening. Your nice little, plump little, dumb little wife. Vicky? Let's go away. We'll go away. Wouldn't you like that? So would I. We'll take a house somewhere. Terry can come for the holidays. Did you know I'm a very good cook? No? I am. I can cook too. What? Oh, kebabs and things. Maybe too hot for Terry. Wouldn't he be jealous if he knew? Please go and get dressed. Yes. Take your bath. I will. I've wanted you to go and fetch him, Harry. It really is finished. But I must tell him it's finished. I have to. How can you say it? If you love me, you'd do what I want. That's what loving someone means. Doing everything that they want. Not if it's bad for them. Of course. Even then, whatever I ask. Even if I were to... Supposing I were to ask you to take this thing and to kill me? Stop it, Lucia. If you really loved me, you would. Please don't ask me to go, Lucia. You see, you don't. Nobody does.
Sir? Get me some tea. No coffee. Make it strong. She's sent you, hasn't she? To fetch me back? Well, <laughs> you know what you can tell her? You swine. You bastard! Why do you call me names? You should be grateful to me. She's all yours now. She's not bad. She's damn good for her age. Don't say that. Anyway, she's yours. A gift. An unsolicited gift. Like the right in the overseas parcels. Say thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 